kind of like just lost for words right now. Fireball. Come on. Golem is still pretty healthy. Killed the balloon. That's his main push. We'll throw on the mini horde right now because it's enraged. Come on. We'll zap the ice wizard. What is going on guys? This is Ben here. I am very, very nervous for today's video and the reason for that is, oh my god. You can see right here, we're at 5,794 trophies. I thought my last win was going to get me in it, but it was not. We didn't have enough trophies because the other person was a little below me. So we are six away from 5,800 getting into this champion league to get that extra pair of cards for that draft chest, which we have like how many hours left? Uh, we have six hours left. So guys, uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be going in here. Hoping to get our victory. I've been literally playing on my phone. So this is a little bit different of a setup But here's the battle deck you guys have seen in the last few videos Definitely leave a like if you guys are hyped to see how this unfolds dude This is probably the most nervous I've been for a match in a very long time So with that without further ado Let's battle here. Hopefully we have a good matchup. Oh match right off the bat We are going up against someone in eight five thousand eight hundred and twenty two. He's level 12 So that gives us a good advantage right off the bat, but we'll see what we're going up against um, Ice Spirit, right off the start, I, it's either going to be a Hog Rider variant, or it could be Three Musketeers as well. I don't really have a good opening hand. I would like to actually see more of what he has before I have to drop. I'm gonna... Guys, I'm gonna guess it's Three Musketeers. I'm just gonna go out on a whim here, and hope I'm right, because I'm gonna eat that damage over there. I don't even care about that. If I can win early, and he doesn't have an Inferno Tower, yes, it is Three Musketeers. Okay. This is a decent matchup for us, guys. We have to basically win on this push, though. With win, I mean basically take his tower. So I'm getting a little hyped. Um, no promises we're going to win this this uh, this match just yet, but oh my god. The minion horde's there. We have our zap, but I don't really have a full... Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. There's no way this guy has elixir. He just pumped up. We should take his tower here. That's the opening push that we need. I'm actually going to go for it right now. Three Musketeers, that was a bad call by me, because now we got his tower. Now we have to play defense versus a pumped up straight Three Musketeers. Yes, they split, so that's kind of good for us, but we'll see. This is, uh, it, we got a good start, but Three Musketeers are so explosive, guys. Like, it's going to be completely insane how this, how this turns out. Come on, just keep keep my towers alive. Keep my towers alive. We lost one. Oh, we lost both. No, that's not good. I didn't know. I, didn't, I think the, what killed me there was actually the musketeer. Not the musketeer. Um, the, uh, the uh, what's his face? The lumberjack drop, guys. Because I literally do not have any elixir. And that was ki that's killed me. I didn't expect him to drop the three musketeers right off there, right off the start like that. So he's going with the minion horde. I'm okay with that. Hmm. Here comes the three musketeers, guys. He's saving up the push for it. God, we started off so good. We hit him with a good game. Not, not what you want. My webcam froze, by the way. So we're gonna get into another match, guys. I don't know how long it was frozen for. Oh no! If we actually lose this one, I don't think we're gonna get enough trophies to get back up to where we were. So we're gonna have to win twice in a row uh, if we can even win this one. What about the good luck? I like seeing the elixir collector more on this side. We do have an advantage. Level 12 again. <sighs> I don't know. When I see level 12, I know that last one was three musketeers. I immediately just think mortar, but definitely not a mortar if he's starting this. If he's playing this passive, three musketeers maybe. We'll see. Um, I'm just gonna wait for him to drop. Oh, uh, I think it's lava hound guys. You typically don't see a tombstone. Actually, I have no idea. I have no idea right now. I'm not going to make any predictions. I don't see archers that often. <laughs> Still could be Lava Hound with the Tombstone and the Mega Minion. So, 
I don't know. I really do not know what this what this is shaping up to be. Oh, uh, we are eating a lot of damage there. At least we do have an elixir collector. So he had a really good start. Um I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go in. Go big or go home. We're risking it. Ice golem? Okay, I maybe it's just straight hog rider push with defense as that tombstone. I don't know, man. I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. Like he probably has arrows and fireball, like in a crap ton of spells. So we'll try and bait it out here, see what he has. He's got zap. Okay, there's one. He's got the log. It's a mega minion. I'm expecting to see arrows and a zap. All right. If he has fireball, guys, I'm gonna cry. Because a lot of people actually are running the three spells. Come on. Come on. Come on, take his tower. Yes, that's a great, great push for us. We can start our next push. I'm actually going to throw down the Goblin King. He might log you. I could have went for the three crown too. But I'm playing it safe. All right, we got the victory. We did get logged. Um, we know he has that Ice Golem and Zap. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad he placed the, the Tombstone over there. So we'll throw down the Lumberjack over here. Throw down our regular minions for defense. Throw down our minion horde over here. So I'm not just going to be giving away this tower for free on that right hand side. No chance. Just try and overwhelm him right now. Come on. It's fine. Uh, I'll actually drop the lumberjack up here. Get the three crowns. So easy victory for the second one. Hit him with the GG. We had a, hit, a huge advantage there, but... Props to the level 12 for getting up. Usually if it's that guy that a guy like that high up, you usually see mortar. So I don't know. And the reason why I'm not unlocking my chest is for reasons unknown. Like on the bottom here, I'm actually very close to a very special chest. And you'll see a video on that soon. So that's why I'm kind of waiting for those of you curious. So like, oh, you're throwing it away. But hey, <sighs> got another victory. We get another shot, guys. Please give us a good matchup. We do have a decent matchup versus that... Uh, Three Musketeers, it's just like, oh my god. I don't want to... <laughs> I want someone that doesn't have a crap ton of spells. Okay. You can never tell. We're going up against level 13, so even footing here. When I see skeletons, I just immediately think... Mortar or Three Musketeer? Okay. Um, and the fire, Ice Spirit. Guys, pretty sure it's Three Musketeer. Actually, it could be... A, hmm. I, I'm just going to drop the minions in there. I have to. I don't know what this is. This battle deck is with the poison that really threw me off. So it could be minor beatdown. I'm just gonna throw on the golem. I think it might be a minor beatdown battle deck, which he's gonna have an inferno, but he's not gonna have a poison spell on this go around here, unless he cycled to it already, which he's probably really close. Um, maybe minion horde he's thrown in there. So there's the inferno tower. Okay. An Electro Wizard. That's nasty. I'm not going to be able to take out that Inferno Tower just yet. Okay, at least the Baby Dragon isn't getting hit by the tower. So, yeah, it's minor beatdown, guys, with the poison spell. So, he's going to, every time he drops that minor, he's going to try and poison me down. But he, he wasted his poison, so that's good. I'm actually going to pump up here. And this will bring me into double elixir, but he's gonna go for a minor push with some sort of crap. I'm pretty sure. So let's drop this here. But on the minions, we, it's very crucial that we actually keep our, our elixir collector. All right, this is fine. We cycled. We don't have our zap, but I, in double elixir, I'm pretty sure I can cycle to it for that inferno tower. There's the electro wizard. I don't have a fireball for him. Uh, we're actually going to throw it on the golem up a little bit closer than I would have liked, but we need to actually tank for this, uh, for the stuff coming here. Alright, we'll drop the the goblin gang. There's the inferno tower. We knew that was coming. Alright. Here we go. We're going in. Take the inferno tower, please. Come on, Goblin Gang. 
Okay, we knew that. We we knew that was gonna happen. Oh no. Take care of the Electro Wizard. Guys, this is very, very interesting. Shaping to be very, very close. The Miner is actually going to hit the Golem. So we have a nice push coming here. We're going to wait till this Poison spell is actually completely done. Put on the Zap. Come on. I can't wait that long, man. Get in there. Come on, baby dragon. Dude, I cannot get to his tower, man. I'm guessing the miner's gonna be right there. Oh my god, guys. This is intense. Comes the minion or there's the poison. Jesus, dude, we're gonna get another shot. He just played straight defense. He didn't want to lose on the push. I, I I'll commend that. GG man. Ah. Uh, I kept running into that poison spell. This is so stressful, dude. Draw's not bad though. Another chance, guys. Oh. Okay. Goblin Gang right up the start. Nice. Um, I'm gonna wait till I'm at 10 Elixir to pump up. At least like the nerves are kind of gone. The first, I was most nervous that first match. I was like, oh my god. Ice Wizard. Guys, I have not seen an Ice Wizard in... I don't even remember when. I have not seen this guy like... It's completely actually new to me to see the Ice Wizard. Okay. Not exactly sure what he's gonna have, but I'm gonna go in. Oh no, dude. We're going up against a tornado battle deck. What is his what is his win condition? Does he have a hog rider thrown in there? Miner? Maybe just miner for victory? I don't know. I'm assuming he's gonna have an Inferno Tower. I'll actually pump up over here. See what comes out. See what comes our way. Barbarian. Okay. I think I know what it is. I think it's a graveyard. Or it still could be three musketeers. I have seen Barbarian Hut three musketeers as well. Uh, this is a very odd battle deck to go up against right here. Like an oddball one. I don't, like I said, I really don't see this kind of style that often. I'll send that 10 elixir. Oops. So we're both playing really passive. Now is my time to show the golem. Here probably comes the graveyard. I'm gonna assume it's graveyard. Or not. Oh, balloon. Oh, dang, man. Okay. We have the counter for it. That was, I was not expecting a balloon. Just to tell you guys right now. Tornado is nasty. That actually is gonna hurt a lot of my troops. I'm going in here. We got a little bit of a golemite. It's gonna be my one shot at a push. Come on, get more damage. Okay. We have to be ready for that balloon. No matter what side it goes on. There are the minions. Here comes our bat, uh, or whatever it's called. I don't even know, guys. I'm kind of like just lost for words right now. Fireball, come on. Golem is still pretty healthy. Killed the balloon, that's his main push. We'll throw on the minion horde right now because it's enraged. Come on, we'll zap the ice wizard. Come on, come on. Let's freaking go, man. Oh my God, we are champions. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, Carla! Freaking let's go, man! Champion League, dude. Eight. Whew. 
5,819. We had an oddball battle deck there. Very, I was not, I didn't know what to expect there. He didn't have the Inferno Tower, so that was actually a great matchup for us. Holy crap, guys. There's a lot of up and downs in this battle deck. Hey, Carla. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. <laughs> Heck yeah. Why is this? Cause I'm 5,819. Let's go. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, just hold Carla in. <laughs> I was a little loud there, but whatever. I don't even care. Freaking hype, man. You guys have no idea how many matches it literally took to get here. Oh my god. Now the next one is Grand Champion. But can we get a like for... Yes, we lost that first match, but we came back strong. 5,819. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do all smiles around. Oh my god. That one just like came to us. In that freaking Champion League, man. Cannot believe I actually got there. I know we're kind of reminiscing here. So yeah, you guys are going to see an awesome draft chess video very soon. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell, guys, to get notified when that video goes live. Now I can open these up. Ah, oh, dude. The mirror. So I'm actually close to legendary chess. We're going to try and cycle to that quick. All right, guys. So as fast as Champion League came, uh, it actually has gone away. <laughs> so after a few wins and a few losses, dude, like... I was gonna record and show you guys that, but I just really wanted to grind out my lesson legendary chest because I was super, super close to that. So you're gonna see this here. Uh, thanks to Stats Royale as well. If you guys wanna know what where you are in your cycle, how many chests you are away from it, all you need to do, I know a lot of you already know this though, is uh, type in that, type in your player tag, which you can click on by looking at your profile and type that into Stats Royale under the search. Um, so yeah, that's that. And you can see we have a great opening push here off the Three Musketeers. I was telling you guys, like it's, Three Musketeers can go either way. If I if the, the cards fall in my favor, I have a really really good matchup versus it. But it, there, there, the latter can also happen where I actually just get absolutely destroyed by it. Uh, and he actually got a really good push coming here, and I have no elixir. You can see the uh, the battle ram taking my tower down. That's a that's a variant you don't really see a whole lot anymore. Typically, you see like the hog rider one. Dude, I'm still like in disbelief that I got Champion League. There was no way I thought I was gonna get up that high in trophies uh, ever. And it's so happy. So definitely guys, like I said earlier though, stay tuned, we're gonna be opening up that draft chest very soon here. Uh, but we're, we're not done here. Like this match here, for the rest of the night too, I'm probably gonna see if I can actually get back up there. Uh, and if anything crazy happens, I'll, I'll record another video for you guys, but dude crazy end of the season push uh hopefully it went well for you guys well have some of you hit some of your new trophy records this season uh, let me know let me know how it went for you guys were you guys like for me what i did honestly was a lot of you know i discovered that battle deck just kind of like half-heartedly um i just was playing around super late at night and it just clicked it just worked and worked and i stuck with it a lot of the metal meta battle decks have a really good matchup versus it uh because it can get countered easily to the executioner arrows you have to play it very very wisely and then same with a whole lot of other stuff like tornado and all that and since it is a such a heavy reliance on double elixir for the battle deck if you if you fall behind uh, and lose your cycle or whatever can't keep your chest uh can't keep your elixir pump going you're gonna have a very tough time i will be opening a super magical chest if i uh on, the, on my other account as well you'll see that very very soon <laughs> uh but oh my gosh man can't believe it. it's just a sigh of relief but hopefully great luck to you guys or good luck to you guys for those of you watching uh, if it's the start of the new season and you're watching this hopefully i can do better next season maybe get into the next one our our goal is to get to that ultimate champion there was a few people that were able to get it this season uh maybe one day when like it's so much more saturated with people that are at a high level on high trophies maybe one day i'll get there but i want to say that but there we go we get the legendary chest drop uh my trophies plus 29 my trophy count is like a, almost 100 trophies lower from that point I, I lost quite a few was winning and losing so i need about 65 more trophies to get back to that uh 5800 but now with that being showed, you guys saw the drop. Now I'm gonna be restarting, trying to save up all the rare chest and get that all going and have another all chest opening for you guys. So so now we're actually doing the ladder here though. We are on my Benton One Gemmer, which is my level one account that you guys have saw. Uh, I'm, if you guys haven't seen the other video though, I'm trying to get this one up to 1000 trophies, 1100 actually, to get be able to try and get this a level one rare account or legendary I should say. Uh, 
<laughs> so, but I'm actually, a lot of you have tweeted me out this. Like, we looked at this chest cycle for this account and have told me that I'm actually one away from a magical chest. So, we're going to try that out, see if I can get that drop as well. We'll open up our super magical on this account. It's a cheap super magical, but it doesn't matter. Getting all these cards, dude. Give me the epics. Give me a baby dragon. Nice. I really want the baby dragons because hopefully I get a lava hound if I'm able to get up that high. We'll open up our free chest here. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. And uh, this match should give us a a magical chest. I, I sure hope it does, uh, unless Stats Royale is wrong. But we are going up against Reagan. That's if we win, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't count if we lose. But, dude, you guys have no idea how big of a relief it is off my shoulders being so close. Because my previous trophy high was 5,777 or something. And, dude, it was just like, okay, arrow in the tower. I think that's a good start for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was 5,777. So, we're like, we were like one win away. And I couldn't get back up there until today. And if I would have... Dude, and I was stuck at 5,797. I was like, if I lose this match and don't get back up there, I'm going to be three trophies off from Champion League, and that's going to haunt me until next season to see if I can push again. So, so happy that I got it. Um, don't really know what this guy's kind of doing. <laughs> He's just sitting there on Elixir. I mean, I know he was sitting at 10 for a very long time, so we'll actually just keep dropping stuff, going in for that three crown. Uh, our Prince is still very healthy. Giant, not so much, but it doesn't matter. We have some nice goblins getting in there. And then there we go. We should get a magical here. I hope we do. Please be right. It is correct, dude. Stats Royale does not lie. Nice. So we got the legendary chest drop and that magical. We'll actually open this one up for you guys as well. I have so many gems on this account too. But I'm not going to be doing any more chest openings on this one until I get to a higher level. But we got the Skeleton Army. A lot will argue, why don't you save your magical chest till, till later then? I don't know. I'll open it for you guys because you guys know. I like you guys. And then we'll open these ones as well. I didn't even see what was going on there. Crown chest. Nothing crazy. So that's that, guys. Can I get a like for that freaking Champion League? You guys have no idea how much time I put in to try and get that. How many matches? Oh my god, the stress is done though. Until next season. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like we did and subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. And I'll see you guys later.